Breaking news and good news for the Phoenix Suns. Chris Paul expected to make his return to the hardwood tonight against the Nuggets. He's listed as probable after missing the past 15 games with a fractured right thumb. Suns have been just fine in his absence. They've gone 11 and four during that 15 game stretch and they are on their way to home court advantage throughout the NBA playoffs. They uh, continue to just beat everybody up. That game tonight, by the way, tips at nine Eastern in Denver. They have a nine game lead on the rest of the NBA with nine games to play. Let's bring in the former NBA champ, Avery Johnson. Avery, how if you're if you're a, a you know a head coach or a trainer with the Suns here, I'm not asking you to be a doctor or anything, but how are you ramping Chris Paul back up over these last nine games before the postseason? Well, Chris Paul would definitely Chris be on minute restriction. I just don't think you can put him back in in, in to the rotation and start lineup and play him, you know, for a four minutes. So. Uh, I, I anticipate, you know, there'll there'll be a lot of communication on how he's feeling, but on a night like tonight, you know, maybe 28 minutes. Just don't see him playing 44. A lot of other guys are in phenomenal shape. They they have a deep rotation. Uh, guys that have obviously done a a really nice job. Specifically, Devin Booker, uh, since he's had to play more on the ball. Uh, in Chris Paul's absence. So I, I think this is a situation where they'll be very cautious. Uh, they, you know, they have a significant lead in the Western Conference. Uh, there's nothing else really to prove, but just get through the rest of these games healthy and get Chris Paul some game time so that he can be ready to go come playoff time. Look, they're in a great spot, a perfect spot. They're going to have home court advantage. They, they don't have to go out there and win games down the stretch to improve their seating or anything like that. But what are some challenges that uh, a team like this faces over the last two, three weeks of the season when, when they don't have anything to play for right before they play for everything? Well, the major challenge is just the, the comfort level of knowing you wrapped it up. Uh, there are no real meaningful games that you, know, you, you have to win to necessarily lock up the top spot. They've already done that. I had a team uh, back in, in 2007 season, you know, where we, you know, we, we, we were at the sixth best record in the NBA. We won 66 games and we were by four, had a 10 plus game lead and we decided to rest Dirk Nowitzki and then come playoff time that threw off his uh, rhythm. So I just think they still got to keep their guys going, even if they don't play max minutes. But the idea that Devin Booker is going to sit out for five games and DeAndre Ayton is going to sit out for three games, I think they got to keep those guys in the rotation, keep them playing so that they can continue to, to build on their chemistry and continuity that, that they have going so well for them and not make the mistake that uh, some of you know my teams have made in the past when you have significant uh, leads that you start resting, over-resting players. Why have the Suns been so much better than every other team in the NBA this regular season? Well, it's, it's their development program. You got to give Monty Williams and his staff. You look at, uh, you know, DeAndre Ayton has gotten better. Uh, Bridges, Mikael Bridges has gotten better. They, they went out and signed JaVale McGee uh, to provide, uh, and Biombo to provide that deep bench of big guys that they can throw at some of the power centers and specifically they had Giannis onto the Kupo in mind because he got the best of DeAndre Ayton last year in the finals and they didn't have they didn't have a curveball they didn't have a, a, a knuckleball or a slider to go to uh, so this year now they have more pitches and more players and more depth and their younger players Cam Johnson comes to mind also have just gotten better and better and better. And I don't know why Devin Booker's name not is not mentioned in the MVP conversation uh, a more because of uh, how he's carried this team specifically in the last 15 games since Chris Paul has been out with an injury. And I think it was five years ago today that he went for 70 points in that game for the Suns back in 2017. Uh, Memphis is second in the West. Then you've got the Warriors, the Jazz, the Mavs, and, and so on and so forth. Who's their biggest threat in the West? 
Wow, I'm really looking at this Mavericks team. Uh, you know, whenever Luka Doncic, you know, he's a problem. And, you know, they went out and made that trade for Dinwiddie. They got rid of Porzingis, which I think was an excellent move. The Warriors, you know, they you know, obviously Steph's got to come back and, and, and play healthy. You know, not a big fan of the Jazz. The, the Grizzlies are a dangerous team because of their depth and they, their inexperience, which sometimes could just be the best factor because you're not as nervous because you haven't been through it. But when I look at this list, I'm looking at this Dallas Mavericks team because they have shooting size. They're much better on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, they play at their own pace. And Luka Doncic is a guy that can just dominate a game just as much as any of the other top line players in the Western Conference. So it, it, it's, I think it's going to be a very heated playoffs. Uh, the fans are, you know, after the play-in games, depending on what happens with teams like the Lakers or you got the Pelicans down there, we'll see who comes out of those play-in games. But once the playoffs officially start, I think you got to really keep your eyes on a team like the Dallas Mavericks. The playoffs begin three weeks from Saturday. The Suns have nine games left to go. A chance for Chris Paul to come back tonight and ramp up for the postseason these final few weeks. Avery Johnson, thank you so much for the perspective here on CBS Sports HQ. This is so far the best season in Suns history. The most they've ever won, 62 games. They did that twice, but winning at over an 80% clip this season they should blow by that number of 62 wins over the next week or so as they try to get over the hump they lost in the finals last season they are the favorites right now plus 350 to win it all do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game the highlights the picks the instant analysis no yelling no fake debates no politics hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment